Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm JB and today I'm going to be talking to you about Time Machine. Now, what is Time Machine? Time Machine is Mac OS's default backup software for the operating system. And with Time Machine, what you can do is you can take a full system image or clone of your Mac, or if you don't want to take a full system image and you only want to back up the files, there's also a way to do that where you can exclude the system files and it would only back up all the data that is currently stored on your Mac. Now, by default, and the only file format that will work on your external hard drive for Time Machine is Mac OS Extended Journal, which is also known as HFS Plus. Um, you need to be very careful with that because when you plug in your hard drive, and if Mac OS recognizes that it's not the correct file format, it will ask you to reformat the drive to Mac OS Extended Journal. And what that will do is it will wipe all the data. So please ensure that when you plug in an external hard drive for Time Machine, that there's nothing on there or just move all your data over to something else. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. Now, if we go into the Time Machine menu on System Preferences, on this one, this is Mac OS Catalina. I go into right at the bottom row, go into Time Machine. You will also notice that from now on as well, for those of you who have been using Mac OS for a long time, is that local snapshots are also now taken into Time Machine, which means that when you do your first backup and then you click on this and then you leave this on, what will happen is every hour a local snapshot will be saved onto your internal your internal solid state drive and then let's say for example if you ever wanted to do a restore without your time machine drive you can actually do it through your internal drive on um mac os recovery but yeah so local snapshots are now permitted and time machine does hourly backups for the past 24 hours daily backups for the past month and weekly backups for all the previous months and also what happens is when he notices that your hard drive is running out of space, it will start deleting the oldest backups and make new and make room for the new ones. Now, as you can see here as well, I mean, you have the option to show Time Machine in the menu bar, which just makes life easy, instead of going into system preferences and looking for Time Machine. And also on here, you have the options to either backup while on battery, and you can also exclude system files. So back in the day, this option never used to be here. So back in the day, let's say for example, if you did not want to take a backup of um, the OS, you would have to go into, the, click the plus button, right? Click the plus button, and then you would have to go into the Mac OS drive. So you would have to go into Macintosh HD, and then you would have to exclude this folder here. And once you add this folder here, the backslash system, then what it would do is it would not back up, it would not back up the system, but it would only back up the files that you have. But I guess over time, to make it easy for everybody, all you have to do now is just to click on this now, and it will not take a backup of the operating system, and it will only take a backup of the current files that are currently um, on your on your on your Mac. So yeah, so for now, I'm going to leave all the default settings as they are. But also, like I said, if you want not, if you don't want to take a backup of programs or certain folders, you just literally click on this plus button, go and look for that folder in the directory on Finder, and just add it here, and it won't back up. Now, as you can see on here, this is a this is an old disk that I've been using, which I won't be using right now, but I've already plugged into I've I've already plugged in this disk here, which is already on the Mac OS Extended Journal. So all you need to do is you open that and then you do select disk. You click on the, the disk that you want to use as time machine and then you click on use disk. Now, what I would highly, highly recommend for security is that you go for an encrypted disk. And what this would do is it would add a password to your backup drive because I mean, you're taking a whole system image of your, of your, you know, of your Mac and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a lot of very important information, a lot of private stuff that you don't want to fall into the wrong hands. So me personally, by default, I like to go for the encrypted backups. So what we do is we click on encrypt backups. We go for TM, we're gonna use this disk. 
you use that now this is only asking me this because he's noticed that I've been using another drive so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say we're going to use both all right so I'm going to create a password for the backup drive I'll just put question mark for the hint I don't need no one to know that I know exactly what it is so that's fine and so yeah we're going to encrypt the disk now with the encryption I've noticed that depending on what type of external disk you're using it will be quicker or slower so as the external disk that I'm using is a solid state drive which are much faster than the normal disk drive it didn't take that long the last time I did this using a um, normal hard drive it took about 30 minutes for that window to disappear so that's fine that's going to happen so now we're just waiting for the first backup now what you can do is you can force it so as you can see you can force it on here if I do backup now that should allow me to begin the backup so if I do that that will keep start the process we're just preparing backup as you know what so also as this is the first time backup you know it's going to be the longest and it's going to take a, it's going to take a while so as you can see it's already backing up so what I will do is I will skip the video for now and once the backup is complete we'll come back to this hey guys welcome back now the first time backup has fully completed and now what the time machine software is doing is it's completing the encryption on the um, external hard drive which you which you're using for time machine now this might take about that maybe an hour up to an hour maximum to complete but what you can do with what you can do is you can also check the status of the encryption on here so as you can see at the moment it's on 52 percent and it's been going on for about five minutes so far so um what i'll do is i'll come back once the encryption is complete hey guys welcome back so the first time full backup is now complete and so is the encryption now what will happen is if you leave your external hard drive plugged in they'll be back up every hour now what I wanted to also mention is that the encryption that you saw after the first time backup will only happen once so next time the machine backs up you're not going to see another encryption phase like we saw before but eventually the encryption took about 30 minutes to complete now what I want to show you I just want to quickly demonstrate something on how to do a file restoration so I had a folder in my document folder so I had a file in my document folder which I've completely deleted and I now want to use time machine to restore that file so all you need to do is you could even go on system preferences and open um, time machine or from here you can just do enter time machine now we've entered time machine and as you can see now there's nothing in there right now so this is the live finder window but if I go back in time this is the document that I deleted so now if I want to restore this document it's pretty simple if I just click on it and I hit restore the file's been restored it really is that simple with time machine or there's another way you can do it instead of going directly into entering time machine what you can do is my external hard drive is still on here so if I go into there and then this backup dot backup P PDB is where all the backups are currently stored if I go in there that's my backup name and as you can see every time a backup is done it creates a new folder with the date and the time now if I go into this phone here data users this I'm going to documents I can also just copy that file and copy into my desktop folder my document folder so that's also another way to do a file restore you don't always have to enter time machine but you can also just go directly into finder and you can find these documents this way now also as I mentioned before this is quite of a new feature on um, any internal drives that are 
formatted with APFS. And also, if you have this option here ticked, back up automatically, what it will do is it will create snapshots every hour. So the way to check how many snapshots that you have is if you open terminal and then you do a, and then you do a command for you type in sudo tmutil list local list local snapshots space forward slash and then you type in enter and then you start typing your password but just remember that it won't type it as your it won't show you any characters as you're typing type in enter and as you can see here these are all the local snapshots that have been created on my computer you got all these local snapshots here now another thing to remember is that these snapshots are not actually taking any space on your hard drive at all not at all so even if we create a brand new snapshots right now and for example if i go into about this mac you will not actually see a big difference when i create a brand new snapshot so i wouldn't worry don't worry so much about these snapshots and how they're taking up the space they do delete but they literally are not taking up any space at all and this is something that um what i'll, what I'll do is i'll put a link onto the description so that you can check on how this actually works but do not worry about this and the good thing about these snapshots is let's say for example if you haven't got your if you haven't got your external hard drive plugged in for time machine every hour it will create a um, a snapshot on your machine and what you can do is you can you can actually enter time machine without your external hard drive plugged in and then you can go back in time to pick up any documents that you need so yeah so this is the command that shows you how to how to create this snap how to list the snapshots what i will do now is i will create a local snapshots so all you need to do once again is to type in sudo tmutil you type in sudo tmutil and then you just do local snapshot type in enter and as you can see the snapshot has been created now with the local snapshots that have been created either automatically or whether you do them manually by coming into terminal you can also access these snapshots by going into system preferences time machine enter time machine or if you've got the time machine menu on the menu bar you can go into here and you can also enter i can't do that directly now because because i've created these and i've i've, I've unmounted my um my time machine external drive if i go into it now it's going to stop the screen recording so i can't go into it but yeah if you want to access this latest one that we created here on terminal just go into enter time machine and you will see it on there the only difference is that you won't see you won't you can't actually access these um these uh restore points directly from the drive you can't see them so you know how when we plug when we plugged in the external hard drive you can see it on here on finder with all these snapshots you won't be able to see them like that you can only enter them directly from an enter time machine now also something i wanted to show you about the external hard drive that was um, encrypted now that your external time machine hard drive is, in, is encrypted every time you plug it in let me plug this back in every time you plug it back in because it's encrypted this will come up right so if we never went for the encryption format then every time you plug in your external hard drive with time machine it will just show up as normal on a desktop but as we've got the encryption on which i would highly recommend that anybody who uses time machine to do because don't forget you're backing up the whole system onto your external hard drive all your files and if you don't put a password, if you're not encrypted with a password, then anybody could find that drive and enter and basically access all your documents. So definitely, 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 when you're doing Time Machine for the first time and you're formatting your external hard drive, go for the uh, Mac OS Extended with um, encryption. So yeah, every time you plug it in, this will come up. 
just type in your password and you can save it on keychain if you want so every time you plug it in you don't have to type in anything because keychain remember it but me personally i just like to untick everything and just type it in manually and go in yeah and that is it i know this is basically the video on time machine and how simple it is to use very user friendly and you don't you don't necessarily need to have um, a third party program to do a full system backup or just a data backup on um, the files on your mac os system but yeah thank you for watching this video please um subscribe and please hit the like button and leave some comments below on any future videos that you want to see from mac os or anything else that you want to ask me about and i'll be more than happy to get back to you and then once again thank you for checking out my video i really appreciate that and uh, i'll see you soon take care